All right, the presidential election, let's talk about it, okay? So um, some people are trying to figure out how should we vote, should we vote, all those types of things. And I think that um, it's a little bit complex because I believe that on one side, there's a person who um, has values that don't align with mine. Um, and then the other side is a person who has said some crazy things and is kind of seems to be a kind of wild person just in general, kind of erratic. You kind of just don't know what to expect from this person. And so it's got me in a weird place where I'm like, yo, who am I going to vote for? Am I going to vote? Like all of these types of things, because I don't really feel comfortable voting for either. And I can't be the only one. Like I can't be the only one that feels like they're kind of stuck between two things because they're just like, yo, I don't agree with this. I do agree with this, but I don't agree with that. I don't agree with how this person said this, but I do agree with what they meant or whatever else. And that's kind of where I kind of am with this whole thing. Um, like, you know, I'm gonna put it all out on the table as far as this goes. I, um, I'm a person to promote that, uh, it, I'm a person that is, uh, uh, that promotes life, um, in the womb. Um, um, all the way up to all the way up to the tomb. Like, I believe that life is important. Uh, from the moment that a child is being created, um, to the moment that they are an adult, to the moment that they are an elder, an elderly adult, whatever. Like, this is just the way I view things. And so, like, that is a big thing that's on the table. But here is the issue, though. Here's the only issue to where I can't say, oh, I want to promote this candidate over the other because both of them are saying that they're okay with um, with uh, baby deletion. Now, one of them is more extreme on the baby deletion uh, thing, but they're all kind of saying that it's okay. And so, like, it's kind of one thing if, like, it was like how it was in the past where we had one side that was saying that it was okay and one side that was saying it wasn't okay. But now um, they have both made it very clear that they don't want to do anything to put a ban on these types of things. They just, if anything, one side is just saying that they just want to have limitations. And... I have a problem with that because I believe that if we actually believe that baby deletion is what it is, then we shouldn't be able to leave that up to the states to be able to decide what it is and what it's not and whether it's okay or whether it's not okay. Like to me, I just don't think that that's even like something that we can be able to debate and figure out. So it's kind of a weird thing that I'm stuck with there. Then there are other things, all right? Let's so like there is this whole there's this whole thing about immigration, okay? Um the reason why immigration is important to me is because my dad comes from Sierra Leone. And so um like and I have other friends that are um that are, are immigrants and uh, they have families that are immigrants and things like that. And so when people like have rhetoric that like kind of says like, oh, um, you know what? This person, these people are illegally here. And these people are blah, 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 blah. And like, they're just like talking about them crazy. Like, I, like, that's hard for me because I like see people that are doing their best, working their hardest, but also, um, are trying to come into this country and trying to see things different. And I know people will say, well, no, we're fine with people legally coming in here. It's the people that are illegally coming in here. And, like, I get all of that, but, like, there is one side of the equation, okay, where people that say that they um, are, oh, that they're not okay with uh, illegal, but they're okay with legal or whatever. There are people that are saying that, but then when you hear them and kind of talk to them sometimes, they kind of have this assumption that anybody that doesn't speak English and that comes from another country is illegally here. And that's disingenuous. Like that is like completely disingenuous to like what's actually going on. And honestly, the truth is too, I know people who did not legally come here. Or, uh, you know, and like, I know that too. And like most of the people that I know that even illegally come here aren't, aren't the ones that you see out here that are doing these terrible crimes. And so it's just such a weird thing. 
Now, you guys might think, okay, well, then that's saying that you're voting for this person. Well, no, it doesn't say I'm voting for this person because now both of them have the same, have a similar view of this whole immigration thing. Like, both of them have a very similar view of this whole thing. And so, like, then it basically would just be me voting on people's tax policies and people's uh, uh, financial policies. And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know enough about these financial policies to know which one is better. Like, I know both of them will say, okay, well, this is going to bring you more money. But I've also got to be thinking about how are, how are different programs and stuff, like government programs, going to be, uh, gonna be uh, uh, funded and stuff like that. You know, and, and like, it's hard to be able to figure out which one is which because I'm just not an economist. And I can sit there and I can look at different people trying to break down these different economic policies, but how can I really trust it when I don't really know what that's going to look like when it's implemented? Now, now we get to the last part where I don't trust either of these people. Like, and I know, like, you don't really need to fully trust people because you don't really know who you can trust when you don't know them personally. But I guess that's my issue, is that I is that there are people that are, like, full-on supporting these people, thinking that they're the greatest people in the world. I'm like, where do you guys get that from? Where do you guys get the fact that you think that people are good people because of whatever whatever they're saying about themselves? I don't trust either of these candidates. I don't trust either of them to stick up to their word. I don't trust that either of them are Christian individuals, even though they're both trying to tell us that they are. Like, both of them are trying to tell us that they have pastors and they have churches that they go to and all that. Both of them have now uh, uh, done, like, these shows to be able to try and act like they're Christians or whatever. They'll show up at a church and maybe even preach a little mini-sermon or whatever else. I just don't trust it. I don't believe in any of these people, and I believe that we as America deserve better. But I also think that this is actually, like, even though I said that we deserve better, I should reword that. Like, I think that America needs to do better, but we actually don't deserve better. I think we deserve exactly what we're getting. I think that when we become a country that has put um, God in the back burner and has put God in the back, this is what we get. I believe that this is uh, this is like... Um, this is like the uh, book of Judges and then leading into the book of King, uh, le- leading into the book of First Kings and the book of, book of Second Kings. Um, this is like leading into uh, First and Second Samuel. Like this is exactly what happened here. G- God said, hey, I don't want anybody else to be the king except for me. But we were just like, we want to be like the other countries. We want to be able to have these leaders. And so then God is like, okay. Get these leaders and see how flawed they are. See how messed up they are. And that's what I think we're at right now. So if you ask me, who are you voting for? Like, honestly, I don't know. I don't know who I'm voting for. Now, I can tell you guys this. I'm definitely not voting for the party that has no restrictions on uh, uh, on the deletion of babies. I- I'm not voting for that party. But I'm also not going to vote for the party uh, oh, that's being led by a person who's also in support of uh, of the deletion of babies, and also has said crazy stuff about uh, about the countries that um, I know pretty well, right? Like I said, my dad comes from Africa. And so to say that, oh, he comes from a crappy country and that all these other things and all of my Haitian friends and stuff like that, to just have these assumptions that, oh, because they're coming into this other country or whatever, that they're going to be, that they don't know how to uh, assimilate to the culture. They don't know how to do, like, these are all things that I just don't like. And I think that, like, I think that both of them have brought, a terrible side of uh, of this world out where oh i have to vote for kamala because i'm black but i have to vote for trump because um i have to vote for trump because i'm christian and i just don't like that i don't like being put in this uh you know they call it identity politics and i and that's what it is and i don't like it i don't like when i'm actually hearing people i'm hearing full grown people literally saying oh yeah of course i'm voting for kamala because i'm a woman of course I'm voting for Trump because I'm a Christian. Instead of like 
wrestling with the nuance of who these people are because Trump is not a Christian man. Like, I mean, we see all of the things that he does and we see all the things that he says and we can't say that he's Christian, right? I can't say Kamala's Christian either because of the way things that she supports and things that she's about. I also can't say that I support Kamala because, oh, she's doing good for our country or whatever because I've also seen what she's done. You know, I also can't say that I support Trump because of the ways that he talks to people and the way that he lives and the way that he seems to be like, yes, he may say some things that sound good. It may say some things that would make us happy, but it's hard to be able to tell whether the things that he's saying is just so he can get votes. And so how do you vote? I say vote with your conscience. And I know that sounds like a cop out, but it's true. Right. If if you think that it, in that so I hear people say policies over people and I get that and I understand that. So if you say, oh, I support more of Trump's policies more than Kamala's policies or I support more Kamala's policies than Trump's policies, then go ahead and do that. Right. Or if you sit there and you look and you say, well, this person seems to have more character than this person. This person seems to be more presidential than this person. And you feel like that's where you have to uh, vote in your heart or whatever. And maybe you disagree with some of the things that the person says, but you agree on what you feel like are like their personality traits or whatever. Then vote for that person. Or here's the third option. Okay. Now, I mean, okay, you could say third party, but that's one of the third options. But, uh, but the other third option is this. You could just also just vote for local people. I think local people are a little bit more trusted. I think local people, it's a little bit easier to see who they are and a little bit easier to see who they are in the community. And I think that, like, you, you it doesn't mean that you don't vote. It just means that you vote for people that are going to make a, a, a easier effect on your life. Uh, on on the things that you find most important because there are always local laws that are on the ballots too and so uh i think that like you know we could vote for a president or we could just choose to vote for these policies that are going on in our places in our areas and we could vote for the people that um are local to us and so that's kind of what i'm probably gonna do that's kind of where my mind is at where like I just think that like I can't vote for either of these people. Both of these people just seem to both of these people just I don't know, just give me a weird vibe. And like and I and I think that like, you know, and that's just me personally. That's just what God is doing in my heart. I'm not telling you guys what you guys should do. I'm not telling you guys who you guys should vote for, but I'm just telling you guys this. I'm telling you that you have to vote with what God is telling you. And if God is telling you to vote for neither, vote for neither. If God is telling you that you need to lean to this person's way more than this person's way, then lean that way or whatever. But I can tell you this right now. I can tell you that right now, no matter which vote, no matter who you vote for, both of these people are telling us that they are fine with the deletion of babies. Both of these people are saying that they want to be able to uh, be tied on immigration. Both of these people are telling us that uh, uh, are telling us that they're Christian, but also not living out Christian morals. Both of these people are trying to cause division. Both of these people are not to be trusted. So we've had we've got to figure out like which person we think is better. And if we think that we would rather just not vote for either, then like I said, just vote locally. Vote for the things that are going on in your county and in your state and in your area. Because I do think those things matter and I do think that voting matters. But I think that we've got to get to a better place in our country where we don't always put up two people that are a terrible fit for our country. And I think that that's what we have this year. And so... You guys vote for who you guys need to vote for. Vote for somebody. Vote for nobody. It, it's really whatever God is putting on your heart. If God is telling you don't vote, then don't vote. It doesn't matter what other people say. It doesn't matter what your pastor says or whatever else. Like, vote your conscience. If God is telling you to vote for this person, vote for this person. And so that's the way I look at it. And that's the way I kind of view it. And I know it might make pe some people mad or whatever, but I don't, I don't really care. 
Uh, but I just think it needs to be said that this uh, this election is bringing out the worst in people. And to, to hear people just say some crazy stuff and to hear people that just blatantly will lie and both sides just lying about about each other and about different things that they've said and different things that they've done. And so it's just hard to trust people. And so, and I just say either way, don't live and die for any of your candidates because neither of these people are people that you need to be sitting here support, sitting here full on supporting, sitting here trying to defend. You don't know anything about these people. And so I think that it's important that you, um, that we don't get too wrapped up in what people may say they are and get more wrapped up in who they actually are. But that's my views. Um, you guys can disagree with it. You guys can dislike it. What do you guys think? Comment below. Let me know. And um, hope to see you guys in the next video.